for joining me today. You know how you've been stuck in the house during an ice storm and you've been using wood heat and your electric heat. What's the first thing to happen? Oh, your skin gets all dried out and mine is dry. And a friend of mine who I keep stocked with my um, peppermint um, coconut cream called and said she was out. So I'm gonna make her a new batch. But I wanted to just um, go ahead and bring you along to show you how easy it is to make your own really good, natural, healthy skin creams. And I'll go over all the ingredients individually, but I'm going to be first making the coconut um, aloe vera gel foot cream, and I have a video on that. Then I'm going to make a um, deep um, moisturizer using the coconut oil, the jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, and some fragrance. And I like to really lather this on after I've had a, a hot shower. So, um, and then we're going to make a really good face cream for those of us that lived at, at the beach in the 70s using that Hawaiian Tropic thick oil. We've just ruined our skin now. So, I've got this really good recipe for jojoba oil using rosehip oil and frankincense oil. And you mix these together, and I'll go over how all these ingredients help your skin. And I make a really good facial moisturizer. And actually, this is healing my husband's rosacea. So, let's get started making some really good, natural, homemade moisturizers. Okay, the first ingredient in the moisturizers is coconut oil. And coconut oil is an excellent anti-inflammatory. It's full of antioxidants and is a great moisturizer. Now when buying coconut oil, I always look for the unrefined. This I purchased at um, Dollar Tree. I was really excited to see these little containers. But this is refined. So you, you can use this for cooking, that would be fine. Um, but this, the unrefined, still has all those really great photonutrients. Um, all of the plant extracts are still intact. So you wanna use unrefined coconut oil. Now this was the great value from Walmart. This is my favorite, I get this at, at um, Costco and it goes a long way. So I wanna use this up today. I'm kinda of down to the bottom, I'm gonna use this up. So that's the first ingredient is a good coconut oil. The next ingredient is jojoba oil, and that is an excellent moisturizer. And it's also great for cleaning your skin, taking off makeup and softening it. But I love this oil, it works great for your skin. Then we have vitamin E oil, and that helps reduce the sun damage to the skin. It's a moisturizer and anti-aging. Now these two I picked up at Trader Joe's, but you can get them online. Now, to make my moisturizer face cream, I of course used the jojoba, and I bought this bottle, and I poured it into a glass container. Then I mixed in rosehip oil. Now rosehip oil is a great hydrating moisturizer. It is full of vitamin C, A, and E. It has anti-aging effects and it reduces the signs of lines and wrinkles. And it also erases those, you know, nice age spots you get from being out in the sun too long. So I put some of this with the jojoba and then <clears throat> this one is frankincense oil. Frankincense oil is a great astringent. It helps prevent the signs of aging and it helps with age spots. And I'm here to tell you, I had a, several large age spots on the side of my face that are almost gone. It heals dry cracked skin and helps with scars and acne. So get you a good frankincense oil. 
Now for the peppermint foot cream, I use aloe vera gel, which is great. And I use peppermint essential oil. Okay, now in my Ninja Blender, we're gonna make some of the deep skin moisturizer that I like to, to put on after showering. So I've got one cup of um, coconut oil. Did these in half cups. I put that in the blender. Then I'm gonna use one tablespoon of vitamin E oil. Put that in the blender. And one tablespoon of the jojoba oil. This is just my skin moisturizer. This isn't what I use on the face. And then I have some really good essential oil scent. This is called Amber. I probably will never be able to find it again, but it's the best scent. I use it in candles. I use it in my moisturizer. I just, it's, I wish they had a perfume of it because it smells so good. So I'm gonna put about um, 10 drops of this in there. I gotta figure out where I got that because that smells so good. So that's all you need to do. And now we're going to cut on the mixer and mix everything. So it's gonna get loud. <clears throat> so let's look at it. Oh, it smells so good. That's what you're looking for, very creamy. Oops, let's see if I can get, there you go. Very creamy, let me push this little blob of coconut oil down, all around the sides. I don't wanna waste anything. And then blend it one more time, then we're gonna pour it into a container. All right, I don't go out and buy fancy containers, I try to use what I have. So I'm gonna pour this into a glass Pyrex dish and have a lid. There we go. Okay, here's my Pyrex dish. Let's take out this. Now it's real runny right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and it will harden back up. It's almost like body butter, but it's so good for dry skin. All right, and get it all out, and then we'll pop this in the fridge. See how pretty that is and creamy? And it smells really good. Let me put a little bit on my hand so you can see. Now it is greasy, but it, your skin will soak it right in. Okay, now we're going to make um, the peppermint coconut foot cream, but my friend uses it on her feet and her legs her arm, she just loves it, so I always make that for her. And for this recipe, you just need a half a cup of good aloe vera gel. Now, I'm, I save my own aloe vera, but I don't use it in these recipes. That is strictly for burns because it doesn't have any preservative in it. So I use this for my creams because I know it won't go bad. So a half a cup of the aloe vera gel into the blender. Now I really use this cream in the summertime when it's so hot and your feet are hot from being on the beach, I use this cream. Okay, so we're gonna put in one cup of the coconut oil. And then I'm 
going to add in 15 drops of the peppermint essential oil and you want a really good pure essential oil for this so let me get my dropper use this one off the rose hip so 15 drops this is what I use okay now we're going to blend this all up just like we did the other cream There it is, it's got a really pretty green color to it. And like the other cream, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator um, so that it will harden back up. Now, I save these little tins from candles, wash them out, and I'll use these to put the cream in. It's got that beautiful green color. And it lasts a, a pretty long time. So I only make up small batches at a time. We'll make up one more batch for her because now her husband likes it. <clears throat> okay, I'll stick that in the fridge. Then I'll come back. This peppermint um, aloe vera gel is not only good for sunburned skin or hot tired feet this works great for bug bites when my grandkids come over and they get mosquito bit I put a little bit of this on there and it takes the itch out and usually the bump or the bite goes away so I really keep this on hand in the summertime all right now the last um, oil and I don't have enough to make it but I will leave the recipe um, in the description box but it's basically I took a, a jar and I poured this whole four ounce bottle into this jar and then I took the rose hip oil which is one full ounce and I poured that in the jar and then I put in 40 drops of the frankincense essential oil and I poured it in here and I gave it a really good stir mixing everything together and then using a small funnel I poured it back into this bottle and this is what I use um, I keep this in the refrigerator and this is what I use daily um, that's in here so I'll leave that recipe below if you want to try that because that is really good anti-aging face cream. I have a really good Pinterest board and I will um, leave a link to that on herbal remedies. But I recently, when I purchased all my notebooks, I recently started writing down my favorites in case there ever is a grid down or I can't, I can't get the internet. So I'm, I'm keeping a notebook of all the herbal remedy recipes um, and that's just a good idea a good tip um, so I'll leave that link below and you can go check out my Pinterest board on um, all the different things I've pinned um, using herbal remedies so let me give you two more tips for moisturizing your skin another good tip um, is to run a vaporizer or a humidifier in your house during the winter months now with with me being sick I kind of ran this about the whole month of January to help me sleep at night and it's the steam vaporizer um, but I've noticed how soft and moisturized my hair is it's not dry anymore and my skin uh, because I'm using this vaporizer nightly in my bedroom so that's a good tip to for dry skin and dry hair is to run a humidifier or a vaporizer and then the last really good tip is you just can't get enough water. Water is the hydrator that's inside your body. So I'm really forcing myself to drink at least four of these a day to help my skin stay hydrated. 
So that's a good tip is to get you some really good water and um, drink that all through the day. All right, let's check our moisturizer. Here's the body butter and it's nice and solidified now. It's been in the refrigerator. If your house is typically really warm in the winter, you're gonna to wanna to keep this in the refrigerator. If you have a nice cool house, you could keep this out. Um, and then this is the aloe vera coconut peppermint cream. And I will leave all of these recipes in the description box below. I'm gonna leave a link to my Pinterest herbal remedies board. I'm constantly pinning things there for you to go back and look at. And I'm gonna have a new feature on Fridays and it's called Frugal Fridays. I'm currently reading through the Tightwad Gazette, coming up with good ways to save money because we are living in times where everything is going to go through the roof and things are gonna get hard to find. In the grocery stores, you've already seen that. But I did get this coconut oil from the Dollar Tree and this popcorn from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna show you how to make your own microwavable popcorn. Very cheap, much more healthy, and that will be this Friday, so stay tuned for that. So if you like this video, please subscribe and like and share it with others. Um, please leave me a comment below if you've got a good herbal remedy that you like to use or a good moisturizer recipe, we'd love to hear it. And again, thank you as always for watching and have a very blessed day. Drink that water.